What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Blitz City Podcast, where today, because we got a new season, I figured let's do a new series, all right? Now, usually Sports Center does the top 10 highlights, but normally they don't really give HBCU players the shine unless the play is really just that amazing that it can't be ignored. So I figured instead of waiting on Sports Center, why don't we give love to the HBCU guys? now we have the power to do that now and that's what i'm gonna do so welcome to the first installment of the blitz city top 10 where we pick the top 10 plays on a weekly basis from all over whether it's division two division one we don't care if you hbc and you out there doing it and i see it i'm gonna put you on this list facts it gotta be entertaining or it gotta be just a adult play all right that's my only two criterias but let's get into this list. By the way, if you have a play that you can find on the internet, because and I couldn't, and you think should be on this list, let me know, okay? This is all about engagement. I want to hear what you guys have to say, but let's get into the video. At number 10, this play was very entertaining for me. This is, you know, this is why I had to put it on the list. At number 10, man, the Elizabeth City Big man, the offensive lineman catching the tip pass and continuing to try to get as much yards as he can to move the offense forward. Man, that is an offensive lineman's dream just to have the ball in his hand. You love to Coming see in it. at the number nine spot, we got Kashane Hankley from Bowie State University. Watch this man make a very good catch in a very tight window in the red zone for a touchdown to put the dogs up seven to zero. Now, Kashane, only thing I can say about this catch, man, it was a great effort. The DB had a chance to make a play on it. You said, nah, that's coming to the crib. We gonna get seven out of that. That's a great catch by you, dog. You had to be on this list at number nine. Coming in at the number eight spot, though, we gonna take it back to the MEAC. Morgan State, Jordan Tolls with the pick six versus FBS opponent Georgia Southern, right? It was his first game, I believe, of this. It was his first game. And he had a pick six from in his hometown. Oh, you that's how you was feeling, Jordan? Hey, congrats to you, my boy. Listen, man, great Coming job. Coming in at number seven, we got Kevrick Wiggins for the Jackson State Tigers. Jumping the route, intercepting the pass, showing off the speed, taking it all the way to the house in the Orange Blossom Classic for six. Man, I just had an interview with K5. Y'all go check that out. K5, great play, great awareness. You know how you get down. We know how you get down. That's a great job by you. At the number six spot, though, we got Jarvian Howard. Jarvian Howard. Oh, you know who he is. The guy who had the 73-yard run versus Stephen F. Austin for Alcorn State. That Jarvian. Yeah, nah, he's like that. The man went straight up the middle, untouched. It was crazy to see. The transfer from Syracuse is going to be doing big things for Alcorn State this year. You best believe what a great run by him, showing off the speed. Once he got in that middle, he was he was he was he wasn't going to be touched. Coming in at the number five spot, man, we got Christian Brown of Howard University. All right, with the uh, the Houdini like interception. I don't even know how this man made this pick. All right, it must be the luck of the Irish. Clearly, God was on his side. I don't know how that ball ended up in his hands, but for him being in the right place at the right time and not giving up on the play to eventually, because the ball was in the receiver's hands and it ended up in his. I don't know how you did it, bro, but you had to be on this list for that amazing play. Christian Brown had to be number five on this list, but coming in at the number four spot, we are going back to Miami, back to the swag. Back to the Orange Blossom Classic, where Shador Sanders hits Rico Powers, the transfer from the University of South Carolina, on a 37-yard touchdown pass. The man had all day. He saw Rico. He said, you know what? I'm feeling good. Let me throw that thing. And not only did he did it, he put it in a, in a great spot where only Rico could get it. Okay, a dominant performance by him. Five touchdowns on the day. That was just his best pass, if you ask me, of the day. So, of course, I had to find a spot on this list where you're that dominant. you got to be on that list, right? Five touchdowns, one of them going to be a highlight for sure. All right, at the number three spot, though, my boy Shaq Davis, a.k.a. Baby Megatron for South Carolina State. Now, Shaq Davis made an acrobatic catch versus UCF. On two defenders in the corner of the end zone, the way that man twisted his body to come up with it, with two defenders closing in on him, to come in for the score, man, he could have did that multiple times that week, if you ask me. But Shaquan Davis, man, we know what he do. He's a matchup nightmare. He's a game changer. And that's why he's in at number three on this Blitz City top 10, right? At number two, though, we going all the way to the D2 level. Oh, yeah. 
Jamal Jones, who I warned y'all about, one of the best playmakers at HBCU ball, period, no matter what level he on. Jamal Jones with the 100 yard kick return versus Newberry College. The man is a Deshaun Jackson type, whatever prototype you want to call him. He's that dude. And guess what? When he's in the open field, you're not catching him. Nobody's catching Jamal Jones. People need to know about Jamal Jones because he's one of those D2 guys who I guarantee you is going to have a shot at the pros because of his production and his talent. And coming in at the number one spot for week one of the Blitz City Top 10 Plays of the week, we got Zach Dobson, Tennessee State. Now, Zach Dobson, Tennessee State, took the, took the jet sweep. He, had, he, he caught the ball. He's running. He gets tackled in a group by three Eastern Washington defenders. And what does he do? He magically just gets out of that thing, turns on the Jets on the first play of the game for a 67-yard touchdown run to put the Tigers up 7-0 early on in that very close game. Man, Zach Dobson, that was an absolute great play by you, and I can see why people was playing it over and over during that game. <laughs> like, it was just crazy. That was a great highlight. These are my top 10 plays of the week, though. If you have anything different, let me know down below in the comment section. But we're going to be doing this every week for the season. Like I said, new season, new series. You are watching the Blitz City Podcast, the Blitz City Top 10. I'm your host, Kobe Orr. I'm out. Peace.